What's up, y'all? I am on the way to Lowe's to go and pick up our secret uh, little thing that came in um, that y'all will be seeing here shortly once it's all um, getting set up. It's going to house a super secret surprise animal or a couple, actually. But, um, yeah, a little, little drain I got here with me. I drove to San Antonio and back today after class and uh, worked on my... My research project on uh, Texas horn lizard, so that was an interesting day. But so, a little drain, you can't really see my face. Sorry about that. But yeah, so ate some pizza on the way to Lowe's. Gonna pick up our um, little surprise for y'all and get it loaded up, take it home, and hopefully start working on it tomorrow. Skadoosh. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, there she is. All right, y'all, since y'all saw a little sneak peek of it, I need you to go down below right now and comment what you think it is um before we unveil it here in a little bit for y'all in a while for me but yeah go down below comment what you think it is and the winner of who gets the closest or gets it right we'll get a shout out on the next video all right guys it's the next day we got the girls helping us matt is over there there cooking some fajitas right now on the blackstone we are gonna be getting started on our big enclosure. We got the grill master over here. Natty's him. Well, she has the the grunts doing the grunt work. All right, guys, kind of hard to see, but we have the basic frame on it, and we're about to. We stopped to eat some of. Nadi's fajita nachos, and we're gonna finish it. It's a good size, but hmm, so yeah, that's probably six and a half. Yeah, about six and a half tall by 12 by 10. Pretty nice. Um, just need to put the door on and then the wire, and then it will be moving. Part of my junk, sorry about that. It will be moving right here where the red foot enclosure is now. So yeah, they're in there, they're nice and asleep, but there's the little red foots. Probably gonna have to take this down and make a new hide box, but yeah, so it'll be right here where we're standing. And then it'll butt up right here next to Hollywood's cage. More than likely, I haven't decided if I'm gonna try to tie in Hollywood's cage or not. But I guess we'll see that when it comes to it. I'll let y'all know when we have everything done. I was eating, so I just had to let y'all eat too. Chef Natty coming in clutch. Chef Natty. And we got helper, farmhand Aubrey. A few moments later. All right, y'all, still a major, major, major work in progress, but here's a rough outline of how it's gonna be. Still got some cleaning up to do, picking out fences, and oh, the next part is to finish the interior, screen it, and then we'll put the door on right here. That's what I'm working on here in a second. Screen it, and then getting it ready. Um, gonna be adding a couple more things inside the actual enclosure but this is a nice start so far it doesn't look the greatest right now but it'll look better that's just a little temporary hide i made for right now gonna revise it more as time goes on but that's just something for the meantime um overall not too hard of a project it's just pretty humid this morning but we're getting it and there's Tuba. i don't know what but yeah, we're getting to it. All right, guys, it's been a few hours now. I just wanted to give up a little update. We have a little centerpiece log here. Uh, just built a little in-ground pond for these guys to come and soak, drink, do whatever they need to do. Um, yeah, got these little rocks to keep that log mounted a little bit better. Sorry about all the dirt. All that's going to get cleared out. That's going to go. That's their old food bowl. Uh, the hide. 
the I forgot what that's called. I know it's in the Yucca Spanish Dagger family and then date palm. Thinking I'm gonna put another tree or plant right here just so to give it a little bit more depth. I feel like it's kind of empty from the front. You look from the front. I feel like it looks kind of empty right there. So throw a little plant right there. And then I think that's about all I need to add. Just finishing up the screen. That's a little bit of hard work. It kind of sucks, but finishing up the screen here a little bit. And then got to put braces on the corners of everything. And then after that, man, honestly, it should be done. But I'll keep y'all posted. Sorry for the messy yard. I've been working, throwing stuff everywhere. <laughs> but um, I'll update y'all again when it's complete. All right, guys, here it is, the final reveal. Got the you guys already kicking in it. Chilling. But, yeah, this is it, guys. We got the little pond and everything. Just give them some breakfast. But this is it. Um, it'll get one more modification. Um, probably putting some tin or some uh, plywood on the walls right here. But other than that, that's it. Um, really hope y'all enjoyed watching this uh, thing unfold. I feel like these guys have way more room now. I don't know what she's doing over there. They're still trying to figure out if they can get out or not, I think. But... Yeah, I think it'll look a little bit better once it gets the um, walls a little bit. Make it look a little less clear and empty. Oh, again, sorry about the mess, like the blue bucket and stuff. I just That was what I was sitting on uh, to do the flooring. Um, but yeah, guys, really hope y'all enjoyed this um, little build. And um, this is going to be a lot more going into this project. That we can't disclose yet because it's a surprise so just stay tuned and see you in the next one